G'day Reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy, welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we're going to be looking at one of the most exciting pieces of reefing kit that we have seen in years. It is really innovative, it's going to revolutionise the way that people transport their frags, it's going to massively reduce the amount of plastic waste that we produce as a hobby. I am of course talking about the Fragorama Caddy Cup. <laughs> Fragorama is one of the most exciting things to happen in the Australian reefing scene in the last year or two. It's going to be a frag event held in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, and it is going to be huge. We've got a massive list of vendors, we've sold heaps of tickets, we've got lots of sponsors, lots of prizes. It is going to be massive. But one of the most exciting aspects of this whole event is the release of the Fragorama Caddy Cup. Now we're gonna show you what makes this Caddy Cup so special. We're gonna open it up, show you how to use it, and you can consider if you want to bring the Coral Caddy Cup to Fragorama. The Fragorama Caddy Cup is a particularly large cup. Now it's excellent for having a coffee, but we're gonna show you something a little bit different about this that is very applicable to a lot of reef keepers. Now it is a big cup. It's 1.2 litres, which is actually the size of a small aquarium. And at 1.2 litres, you've got ample size for storing corals. Now, that might sound like an interesting thing, storing corals in a cup, but what I'm about to show you is really very cool. When you open the caddy cup, you have a double layered frag rack. Now this frag rack it allows for up to 24 corals, uh, 24 frags in place, and it means that you can stack your corals, put them in water, put them in the cup, and transport them from a frag show like Fragorama. So today we're going to uh, show you how we use it. We're going to put some frags in there, show how easy it is, how good it is, and there's one last trick that we're going to show you about the uh, coral, the caddy cup after we put the frags into it. So we start by filling our caddy cup with water from the tank that the corals are coming out of. And so when you go to an event like Fragorama, you can ask the vendors to fill your cup. And from there, it's very easy to populate your caddy cup with the corals that you choose. So we just lift up the first layer, I'll put one in there. Let's see. So I've got a big thing for Leptocerus, so I'm gonna go nuts with the Leptocerus. The top layer of the caddy cup is particularly good for taller corals if you're getting things like bird's nests or acros that sit a bit higher. But I've just got a fetish for Leptocerus. And then on the bottom layer, I'll put green Leptocerus. Oh, they're all crusted on more orange at the cirrus. So just as an example to show you how you use these things, um, you can fit a heap of corals on the caddy cup. So this will be the last one. This is just an example as we're saying. So you can see our caddy cup is populated. We're going to push the handle down, put the lid on, and there we go. Uh, we've got, I didn't count, but something like 10 uh, of the Leptocerus, um, but it could be any frag that you choose, in our caddy cup, and this would be saving us 10 plastic bags. Now, I said that there's a little uh, secret trick to the caddy cup. That's what I want to show you next. So check this out. If you are going to be having your corals in the caddy cup for an extended period of time, we have this as an additional optional extra and what it is is a battery operated air pump they don't come with batteries but we've put some in and this is the coolest thing ever you can take your coral uh, corals your caddy cup out of the tank you put the air stone in you feed it down through these little grooves put the air stone in the bottom, then you feed the, let's just turn around, okay, so you 
use that hole there, you feed the tube through the hole, twist it on, put this like so. We turn on our air pump, and we now have an oxygenated coral transportation system, and with the insulated nature of the caddy cup, the fact you've got oxygenation, you can have your frags in this caddy for an extended period of time, um, you know, a day or two really, depending on temperature, uh, is definitely a realistic thing. Uh, this is an excellent way to transport your uh, frags from Fragorama. The Fragorama Caddy Cup can be purchased from the Fragorama website, or we actually have a link to it on the Gallery Podica website. But the team behind Fragorama have brought us an amazing product, which is something that I think you'll see at Frag events uh, well into the future. Uh, and the most important thing, and this is the thing we really need to remember, the reason behind the Fragorama Caddy Cup is the fact that we are saving plastic. So I've got here uh, 20 bags. The Caddy Cup does actually take up to 24 frags, but even if you were having you know, 10 or 20 corals that you were buying and you're putting in the caddy cup, this is the plastic that you are saving. And as an industry, we always need to look towards or four things that we can do to reduce the amount of plastic waste that we create. And the Fragorama caddy cup is one of the best things that I've seen in years to do that. So that's it for today's episode of Gallery Product TV. I'm off home, I've got my caddy cup full of leptocerus, I'm off to start my leptocerus farm. Thanks for watching, I'm Kevin Fish Guy, happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatica TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Kevin the Fish Guy, happy reefing!